web sites versus funnels. What's the difference? Why should you care? And which one do you actually need? Everybody knows what a website is. It's typically the first tool you go for when you want to present something online. And for a good reason, I might add. They work great when they are done right. Trouble is, websites take a lot of time and effort to build correctly. Sure, you can get one done by a student living in his parents' basement. It will cost you $200 and you get what you pay for. I've been in the web building business for over 20 years. So I know that if you want to get a website done for a small business properly, you'll probably be looking at five to $10,000 easily. There is a lot of thinking and planning and research and everything going on under the hood that people just don't realize to the extent what it takes to build a website properly. Anyway, website might not actually be the right thing for you right now. I'll explain why in a minute. So what is a funnel? Sales funnel is a process that your customers go through as they move from not even knowing you to becoming a paying customer. It's a journey that you take them on. The purpose of ideal sales funnel is to maximize your revenue by providing people value at every level of your service they can afford. So you drive traffic to your funnel, people enter as prospects, and the funnel helps you convert as many as possible into repeat customer by selling them at the front, middle, and the back end of the funnel. A sales funnel in the online world is basically a series of web pages designed specifically for maximizing conversions. Whether it's a sale, sign up, a lead, or buying your online course. You drive traffic to your sales funnel with advertising or social networks or email newsletters. And then the content of the funnel will help you indoctrinate and persuade prospects to buy your products or service. And then buy into one of your more expensive offers. Here are a few examples of different funnels. This is a lead magnet funnel. Basically, you offer something for free in exchange for your prospect's name and email address. You have the lead magnet landing page where you present what you're going to give them. And when they sign up, you send them to a thank you page where they can download your free PDF or whatever you're offering. But also they go into your mailing list and then you can follow up with email newsletters and email sequence to get people indoctrinated to buy into your more expensive products. A sales funnel is slightly more complex. Here is an example of a sales funnel, which is basically a series of steps is designed to maximize revenue on every step of the way. So you first get people onto your landing page or a sales page where you build up interest and you play onto the emotions of people to basically drive up desire. And the purpose of the sales page is to make the desire as high as possible. And when you have accomplished that, you take people onto the next step. The next step being an order form, which is where you ask for the payment details. Once people actually purchase your product, then you can say, hey, you've bought my widget. Would you like something else that will help you even more? That's your upsell offer. And if people think that's a good idea, they can just click the button. The credit card details are already stored in your system. So that when they click the button, then yes, I want this, they get automatically charged. You make more money. If people don't want your upsell offer, they'll click, no, I don't want this. You can present them with a downsell, which will basically say, hey, you didn't want to buy my tool for $300. How about we split the payments into three payments of $100 or something similar? You can offer them a lower priced item instead. So that's a downsell. And regardless whether they say yes or no to this downsell, then you take them to the next step which could be another upsell offer, or you can take them to the order confirmation page and just send them an email or give them a link or whatever you need to actually start fulfilling your offer. So that's a example of a sales funnel. So what is the difference between a website and a sales funnel? 
And why not just use a website to sell your product or service? Why use a funnel? Or is funnel just a fancy way of saying a website? Well, it's not. The difference between a website and a funnel is in user flow. On a normal website, you have a main menu that leads to various parts of your site. And this means your visitors can go wherever they want and you have no control over the sequence in which they get the information you want to tell them. That's a big problem because there is a sequence of emotions which any potential customer has to go through before making a purchase. The information has to be presented to your prospects in a certain order to maximize your revenue. And if your visitors jump back and forth on your site, they may not actually get through to the right process to purchase your product or service. It's like going on a date and doing things in the wrong order. You meet a girl, then you go see her parents, then you go see a movie, then you have sex, and then you say, hi, my name is Michael, what's yours? It probably wouldn't go that well. In a sales funnel, on the other hand, you control exactly what information your visitor receives at any certain stage. You control the flow of information and you can optimize your funnel steps to have the maximum conversion rate possible. It's easy with the right tools. Plus, here is a sneaky pro tip for you. You can hook it up to your email marketing and run direct response emails. This means that you follow each visitor throughout their journey and if they get to the other form, for example, but do not end up purchasing your offer, you can send them an email and remind them to complete the purchase. Or even better, you can offer them even better deal to push them over the resistance edge and get them to spend money with you. So which do you need? A funnel or a website? Well, ideally, you should have both. A website to present your business online, to get organic traffic and for SEO purposes. And adding to that, you should also use sales funnels to get maximum revenue for your services. There are different tools in your toolbox and you can choose which tool to use to get the results that you want. You have to start somewhere. So if you have a lot of products or a lot of content to display, then I would say go for the website first. On the other hand, if you're only selling one or two products, then start with the funnels, get some sales going so you can then extend your online influence with a well-designed website. So how do you start building funnels anyway? Well, you can build the funnel yourself. We like to work with click funnels because it's very easy to use and it's insanely powerful. I'll drop a link for you in the comments below the video. Or we can actually build a funnel for you. My team and I have been building all kinds of funnels for the past five or six years, and we got pretty good at it. So I'm not gonna sell you anything, but if you want, you can just check out the link below, uh, visit my website to get more information or some inspiration. So now that you know the difference between a website and a funnel, let's go out there, put a funnel in place, and let's get you some sales. I'll talk to you soon.